Welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Skyrim. Now, uh, time for some real combat. Okay, the, they're kind of hard to see from here, but right there, there's two guys. Ah, see? That's why you want to pull it down. Um, can I can't quite see him. Let me scoot up a little more. Uh, one thing you can use arrows for, though, is like make a noise behind them, and then they'll turn their backs. Okay, I missed. But this right here, where it's like the arrows, or the eye thing is sort of open, this is how you normally gain sneak points, other than doing sneak attacks. If you just sneak around people, you will gain sneak points. Hmm. Stand still, damn it. Really? You have to aim a little low, actually, because the arrows rise in the wind. Really? I haven't got a single fucking hit. Oh, no, oh, now, now you want to fight. Oh, fuck you. Alright. Gotcha! Yep, yep, I did nothing to him. Whoa! Gotcha! Your body's gonna fall where I can't get it, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, nobody liked you anyway. Probably didn't have anything any good. Did I already... Yeah. Hey! Okay, that guy said, I'm gonna make a rug out of you, cat. And he's a cat. He's like reverse racist or something. Look at all these arrows. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice job, Jake. Good shot. Okay, now, there is another guy up in here. And if I can sneak attack him, I want to. Because that is fun. But I will take your coin purse first. I have nine arrows left. Uh, ah, hell. Yeah. Yeah. You've had enough of me. Iron st I'm not going to take his armor. It weighs... weighs a lot. I'll take that. Weight to value is not bad. Uh, forget that. And there's a chest up here. Potion of glibness. Very well. Okie dokie. And we'll come back down here. Oop. No. Oh, thought that was an arrow. This game is really pretty, though. So I'll give it that. Alright, let's see. <laughs> let's see if I can do any better with my bow. We got some more stuff coming up here. Some more guys. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this guy's a good sneaking companion. He's not made any noise yet. Bows, by the way, are also not quiet. But, uh,. Worth noting. Oh, hell. Oh, I wasn't even sneaking. Damn it. How does that count? Well, let's work on the archery, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. This is exciting combat. Oh, 
shot too high. So like, aim at their chest and you get headshots. Oh yeah, <laughs> for your armor to increase you have to get hit. Seems counterintuitive to me. I will take your arrow. I will take your steel. Only because it's steel though. Uh, I think I'm out of arrows. Which is fine, we'll just... Uh, hunting bow. I'll take a hunting bow. Where's... There was another one. Did he kill it? Damn it, this is what I'm saying. He, he, oh, there it is. That's what I'm saying. Having a... Having a guy to help is not always... Not always good. But we're going to use him at least for this spot here, and I'll probably get rid of him after this. Because this can be... Uh... Frustrating? I guess is a good term. Man, my archery sucks. And I suck at shooting, too. I wasn't doing hardly any damage. There's a, there's a conjuration spell called Bound Bow that you can get, uh, which does what you think it would. has a bow. Oh, well, yeah, will this work now? Okay, yeah. See, I can level up, level up. Now I can trade with them. Oh, that's loud. I will take my gold back. Thank you. And I can train. And train. And train. And I'll take my gold back, please. Thank you and train. Now this guy, there's only, he can only teach you so much. Um, but I thought that was cool. Uh, and let's go ahead and get my hunting bow. We'll do that. Let's just drop that. There's going to be no reason to have it. Did that not hit him? Uh, one thing that's fun to do in here if you have um, raised zombie is raise these guys to fight. One thing you, you want to make sure you do though is make sure that you don't loot them. Oh, sneak attack for three times damage. Oh! Nailed her. There we go. That's some archery. That's what I'm talking about. Skeevers, those are those big kind of rat things that they're, uh, they have nothing good on them ever. Skeever tails or whatever. I'll take your arrows. Uh, I don't care for that. You, sir. I'll take your cooked beef. Yes, I will. Thank you. Hello, chest to un... Oh, okay. okay. There we go. And uh, they're not kidding. It is, it is, it, you know, let's go ahead and level up. It gets uh, reasonably hard to uh, to pick some of the ones that are, quote, hard to pick. Though, yeah, definitely. Uh, no. Uh, silent. Silent roll, that's all I wanted. Sprinting while sneaking, executes. Nah, I don't care about that yet. Um, let's look at... One, if you're doing daggers, uh, the only perks worth getting are dual flurry here and dual savagery, because the rest of these uh, not worth having. Well, fighting stance might be decent because it's less stamina, but hack and slash, bone breaker, bladesman, none of those work with daggers. Uh, so I'm gonna take that so I can at least get into the the dual savagery stuff there. I might take the fighting stance because I do like to use power attacks, but I don't. I need to look up actually before I do that if my little L1 R1 combo thing if that's a counts as a power attack or not. Because my luck, it probably does not. This place, uh, 
Uh, the first time I came through here, it took me like an hour. It's not that big. I was just being ultra cautious, and I died a, a couple times to some some traps. Um, and some of the enemies. And I was a much lower level. Um, do do do. Yeah, this is fine. I was a much lower level, and I uh, got I had, had no one helping me either. I didn't know you could get com companion that early. Okay, now you can let him go do what he's going to do there. It's a scripted event to show you that it's a trap. But uh, I, I don't recommend it. Oh, good job, other guy. Thanks for coming to my aid after he hits me a couple times. Uh, no, nah, I don't care about the torch. Uh, but yeah, basically he comes in, he sees this, and he hits it, and he gets shot by arrows from, like, all of these little holes and stuff, there's a bunch of them, and it's a puzzle, and it's, so it's snake, it's, I don't know, whale, or fish, whatever, so it's another snake, so this is an easy puzzle, um, this one I figured out in like, two seconds. There's another one that I was an idiot and spent like 10 minutes on. I'll show you when we get there. But at least I did figure it out without looking it up. I'll I'll take that. Uh, thief, this does raise, of course, your pickpocket. Now, you don't have to take the books to read them and get the skill point, but I take them because they usually sell pretty well. And once you've read it, you've read it. Yeah. So, soul gems. Okay. Hop down here. Spirally staircase. I have contracted a taxia. The hell. These fucking. Let's see what that does. For some reason, you have to go into magic and go down into active effects. A taxia. Picking locks and picking pockets is 25% harder. Okay, that's not that bad. I did get infected once with a character in the in the tutorial area. I got infected with this thing called um, bone breaker, bone break fever, or something like that. And it's like a minus twenty five to not twenty five percent, luckily, but minus twenty five to stamina. And I'm just like, huh? And I was using heavy armor. I'm like, I didn't know heavy armor reduced your stamina. It does not, by the way. Speaking of stamina, let's let this. Uh, yeah. Well. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Go. You gotta keep an eye on your health because these, the boss, well, this is like a mini boss. So yeah, yeah, I've been poisoned. Oh, there we go. That was mostly the other guy, I'm pretty sure. Amethysts. Uh, you know what? We're gonna heal up real quick. The poison will eventually go away, I think. Uh, the other attacks you thing, we'll have to address that when we get it there. Hmm. I won't? Uh, this guy, by the way, super traitor, just go ahead and kill him. He's really good to, uh, he's just gonna run away, so just kill him. Uh, don't care about the rest of his stuff. But, uh, he's a good raised zombie for this next little part here, because, uh, killed me a lot. Embalming tools, don't care. Burial urns, don't care. Ooh, I care, eh. Oops, soul gem. Yeah. Not that they probably will do me much good. I don't see myself using any of the magic that requires that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the look at this either. Are you one? Yep. 
these are decent things to work your your sneak and your <laughs> oh that that's uh that was priceless um I wish I could have no I'm not gonna worry about those they they're kind of heavy um let's just go back to the daggers here if you step on that which I think did I did I actually take that perk that will let me do that I think I did these guys always have some gold though so um but yeah do not step on that I stepped on that you can go around it or if you don't trust yourself you can go through the back I'll show you here real quick Uh, but if you if you're using like the the regular like swords and stuff, those are decent weapons. Probably better than what you have right now, unless you spend a lot of time in town smithing. These guys, you can attack them. Ooh, a restless one. Yeah, we're gonna back up. They're actually kind of hard. They can wield magic. Let's see. And I think it's like ice or something. It it sucks. Don't try not to get hit by it. Yeah, that's cool. I guess it's the frostbite thing. Now you can find these where like if they don't have anything on, you can loot them. But they can't be just like a regular skeleton. One handed increased. Yeah, I need to get to thirty. That'd be great. But yeah, see this guy, he's just a skeleton. Hello. Hello. Gotcha! Ooh, I am so cool. Ooh, hello, Steel Arrow. I will take you. Nord Bow is nice. Uh, this one, I can give this to that dude. Yeah, you know, I'm going to give dude the, the War Axe. We'll do that. Let's give him the War Axe. And, you know what, let's give him a sword. If he wants to dual wield, he should be able to. Uh, need to trade with you. Yeah, let's trade some stuff. Let's give you the bow. We'll get another bow, and we'll give him those. And he might, he might wear them. He might not. We'll go from there. Maybe he doesn't dual wield. Dash, chain, and we're good. I don't know if you can see, but there's one. Ah, the sneak attacks are nice. Uh, your your sneak um, multiplier, by the way, it will go up on its own uh, just by virtue of leveling up sneak, and you can get you know three by itself just by going to level three, or just by leveling it up. You can get it to uh, three times damage. Uh, by the way, this stuff, flammable. Be careful with your fire spells. Mm. I like that when you switch weapons, it's not an instant switch. Uh, it's frustrating, <laughs> but uh, I like that mechanic just fine. It's you know you should not be able to instantly switch like you've been able to in all their other games. Bone meal, yeah, there we go. Amethyst, yes. Ooh. I don't care about Magicka. But it'll sell for a decent amount. Or I could disenchant it, but I don't... Enchanting, like every game that has some sort of equivalent component is so time-consuming. And I just don't feel like doing it. And you, I'm don't feel like messing with you. So I'm just going to kill you and my game for Okay, good. Game unfroze. <sighs> Idiot. Uh chest. Yes, I will take everything in your chest. Another pull chain. Uh, when, I mean, technically, once I got that gold claw, I could be done there if I wanted to be, but 
Uh, we're going to keep going. Because you could go back. But I want to find out what the... Uh, what the Nords have... Um, have hidden here. Chest. I'll take... I'll take all of that. Thank you. Hmm, what is this? Well, it's a sniping spot. That's what it is. Sneak attack. Oh, is he still right there? Yep. <laughs> uh, that never, I can never get tired of that. This is why sneak is so fun. Uh, but just rushing into battle and bashing people's heads is fun too. But since, uh, yeah, I want to at least plan on doing this mostly solo. Maybe, you know, I didn't really need Feindel for this. But, oh well. What are you going to do? Uh, you can search skeletons. They usually have gold on them. Or bone meal, which you can use. Uh, you can use that. It's an ingredient. I think it does... Every ingredient has four things that it can do. And if you eat it, you'll randomly... I guess randomly discover one of them. Uh, until you get a higher alchemy, then you can start to figure out more of them. Some of it you can kind of stumble upon, too, just by randomly making ingredients. There's a... In, like, the inn in that first town, there's a guy who will give you some stuff to make some healing potions. Let's... Uh... Where did you go, dude? Ah, hell. Ah, hell. Really? This guy can be hard. Yeah, he's a restless one. Yeah, I'll take some light armor increasing, though. Yeah, I will. I'll go ahead and take both of those. I need to try to level up my healing. I don't know if I should, but I'm gonna. It's basically free experience to heal yourself. If it's not in the heat of battle, might as well. And... This will be a little bit harder. Apprentice is what's right above novice. Uh, there we go. So that... Mm, ooh. That could be useful. And we're going to go into the sanctum. And with that, we're going to call that an episode. Hope you guys enjoy. When you guys come back, we'll do some of the Black Falls Sanctum.